only a few days to the greatest steeplechase of them all, the Grand National. You'll only be able to see it in two ways, either at Aintree or on your cinema screen. For a curtain raiser, over to Leopardstown Races in Ireland, which, as Aintree's owner Mrs. Topham knows, is a pointer to national prospects. Here's Longmead, also a Grand National runner. Spring Silver's another, who will be at Aintree, and so will Bell Robin. Centina, seen here with Pat Taffy up, is entered for the National too. So is Mr. Watt, training at the stables of Pat's father, Tom Taffy. Mrs. Topham takes more than a mere business interest in the horses who will be running on her famous course. She also visits Mr. Joseph McGrath, one of Ireland's foremost breeders, at his stables in Fox Rock to watch his string at exercise. One trainer without a horse at Leopardstown is Mr. Vincent O'Brien, three times a national winner. But his Sam Brownthorne will be at Aintree trying to make it four. Back to Leopardstown for the finish with Rodeo in taking the final jump and pulling away from Mr. Watt. Mr. Watt is a national entry, but Roddy Owen isn't. So if he wins, bang goes our national pointer. And he's doing it comfortably, so let's carry on searching. Here's Gusander at Neville Crump Stables in Yorkshire. Gusander has run before in the national. He came sixth last year. Better luck this year, perhaps? Well, who knows? At Bob Renton's stables, not far away, meet Glorious 12th. No, it's not a tip. The Nationals run on the Glorious 29th. And more than any other in the world, it's the race where anything can happen, even at the first fence. So your guess is as good as ours. But remember, you'll be able to see it all at this cinema.